Hey everyone, it's Desiree and I am back with the final showcasing of the club kits for Spellbinders. This one is the large die and this is called Santa's Fireplace. So this is an awesome scene builder and you know Spellbinders has it down when it comes to their scenes that you can build with their dies. I like to look at them as puzzles. So if you enjoy puzzles, these are definitely it. So this is going to create a beautiful fireplace. It's going to have Santa's legs and they're going to swing back and forth. So we are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently. Instead of putting it on a standard A2 size card base, I'm actually going to design this on a four by four card base. So as always, die cutting will be done off screen so that we can get right to building our card. So here we go. Okay, so you can see I have all my die cuts in front of me and there's little containers that I have. I love jello. So I save them. After I'm done, I wash them and then I just keep a whole stack. Yes, I've got many. So I'm creating my background um, for my for the fireplace. So I'm using squeezed lemonade, um, spiced marmalade, um, and I think crackling campfire. And then I actually added some black soot. So that's that up in the upper corner. I was very inspired. I had seen um, another video, um, and I think it was by Spellbinders who did that. So I thought it was really cool. Um, so yes, so that's how I came up with that, not me. So I'm putting together the fireplace, as you can see. Spellbinders dies, they think of everything. So they've got those back panels. We've got the inner panels there. So I've set those in place. And remember, I'm doing a 4x4 four four card, and this fits perfectly on the 4x4 four four card. So you can see I've got the Merry Christmas all set in place. I'm going to set that backdrop for the fire to make it glow back there. And I'm going to put lots of foam squares on the back of my fireplace. And you're all probably saying to yourself, but Des, Santa is not coming down the fireplace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll see in a second what we got to do, but we'll come back to that. So here I'm layering up my uh, logs. So these are actually two layers. So I used black cardstock and a dark brown cardstock. And I cut each of those three times. Um, and it, they look really great when you layer them up. So you've already got your dimension and your texture set up. This is when I realized, oh my God, I did not put Santa in there. Got to see his feet. So I carefully peel it off um, and I was very pleased to know that the foam squares really didn't stick yet. <clears throat> so that was a, that was an awesome thing. So we're going to put Santa together. So again, they have thought of all of the pieces. So you have the base of the legs and then you build on top of that. So you have the black for the boots, the white for the pant cuffs or the boot cuffs, however you want to look at that. And then what looks like a hat is actually um, the bum of Santa. <laughs> and then you have the snow, the, the fur for the base of that. So what you want to do is you want to place that and then see where your fireplace is. So you're going to set that up in there. Make sure you don't put any foam squares. So I did remove that one as well. And you're going to use a small dot, um, foam square dot. Um, now, I actually have them there by from uh, scrapbook.com. But you could use layers of cardstock if you wanted to as well. You just need to make sure that those legs are going to swing freely. Now, again, I was having way too much fun. I love die cutting. It's like a big puzzle for me. So the more I add... The more interest I, I get, the more captivated I get. The problem is, um, when it came to this, was I wasn't keeping an eye on where the legs would be to the fire. Now, I wasn't worried for the fact, okay, he's going to get burnt from the flames, but just are they going to be able to swing? Because that's the whole interactive 
of this card. So I'm putting together the flames. They, the flames are even layered. So you cut all of these in different colors, and then as you build them up, you get this uh, dimensional flame. So here's right about here is where I'm realizing, okay, we got a problem. So we shift the logs down. We shift the um, the flame down a little bit so that all of those layers, there's like four layers there, don't catch on the boots. And you can see I was flipping it back and forth and I knocked a boot right off. Um, and it was fine. The issue is, is once I put the grate on, because that grate's going to go a little bit higher, um, and I don't realize this until I get that fireplace back on. Um, so it'll wiggle just a little bit, but not the way that it should. And I did figure out a way, oh, wait a minute, I can do this. And I'll show you that at the end. So I cut four stockings and now we're going to put the cuffs on top of those and then i grabbed my white gel pen um, and we're going to do some designs on there now you could certainly use pattern paper for that um, but i thought it was fun just to draw uh, some designs whether it was dots um, or just you know draw your own pattern onto your cardstock because i did not want to take away from the fireplace itself um, now you can really have fun i mean there's just so many layers on this i mean you could have um, different colors in the back there's also candlesticks you can create a wreath if you make it on a standard a2 size card but i thought it was really cute on a four by four so now i'm going to put the garland uh, going along the mantle of the fireplace so i've cut these sprigs in two shades of green so I'm putting down the first shade now and then I'm going to layer on top um, with the lighter shade so you'll get these two different shades of, of green um, going across I'm gonna use my reverse tweezers just to hold these on for some reason hmm I'm not sure why I'm, use the glue I always have not nothing special here but for some reason they just were not sticking so I was going to win um, and I won with the reverse tweezers um, to make sure that they stuck in place also within this you had small poinsettias you had small bows small berries so again it's like this huge puzzle um when it comes to the die cuts i just think it's they're just so much fun um to to build the the designs that you have i just think it's great so i'm just adding those berries and of course you can see that i'm fighting and my fingers just are not going to pick them up in any way shape or form um now we're going to work on the bows so they have the bottom part and then you just take the top part right to it and then that just forms your bow so something really easy um, they're small but they are just so fun to put together and i put those bows right in between where the two garlands come up into a point i'm now going to put down my um, stockings and hang those from the mantle and we're going to do one red green red green um, going across and I'm just putting glue on the top and then I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to put it right down onto my four by four card base I almost said my standard a2 size Nope, it's a four by four card base, which means it's cut four inches by eight inches, scored at four. Here's where I realize, okay, this is not shaking the way that I want it to. Um, so getting not frustrated, but I'm like, I will figure this out. So I figured, okay, if I pick up those legs and then just curl them out a little bit using the end of a brush, that actually allows him to swing back and forth the way that he should um 
so again I was going too fast for you to see that so I hope you enjoy this um, I had a lot of fun playing with the large die um, kit of the month for Spellbinders, and I hope you will too. As always, I will have links down below to their blog so you can get even more inspiration, um, excuse me, to all of their club kits that are available, and they keep adding to them. And then, of course, um, <clears throat> excuse me, to their shop if you want to check out whatever sales they may be running right now because they're always running a wonderful sale. So all of that will be linked down below. If you should have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I will make sure that I get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe, be part of my group here, ring that bell, you may get notified, but ring that bell. I do post regularly here on this channel to give you all kinds of tips and tricks tricks when it comes to your paper crafting but for those of you that know me you know what's most important to me always be creative everyone until the next video take care